Our 8 News Now investigators are busy looking into some political donations from the teachers union to a handful of local politicians who do have some control over school staff funding. 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne in studio. He's been combing through some of those campaign finance reports and joins us live. Denise Bryan, we're talking about over $300,000 in donations to four politicians. They meet as part of a committee that deals with finance while the legislature is out of session. This all happened before the teachers and the union agreed on a new contract. On December 13th, the interim finance committee had a meeting where the school district was looking for extra money to go towards teachers' raises to be approved. The committee ended up postponing their decision on that particular request, but the day before, Strategic Horizons, the political action committee run by the teachers' union president, John Velardita, donated 150 grand to the Democratic Assembly Speaker, Steve Yeager. The day after, Velodita's PAC gave the Senate Majority Leader, Democrat Nicole Canizaro, 50 grand. And the next day, the Teachers Union gave Democratic Assemblywoman Shea Backus another 50 grand. And State Senator Rochelle Wynn, also a Democrat, 40 grand. That 300 grand total given to each politician's own political action committee was brought to light in campaign finance reports released this week. But the teachers' union and some of those whose accounts got those biggest deposits say there's nothing to see here. Veladita, the union president, was in the middle of major negotiations with CCSD, where the union was demanding those raises from the school district. He says in part, quote, CCEA did not request funds at the IFC meeting. Any correlation of CCEA donations to participants of that meeting appears to be the view of conspiracy theorists. And Yeager, the Speaker of the State Assembly, told the 8 News Now investigators, quote, Legislative Democrats said from the first day of the 2023 legislative session that substantial teacher raises were a top priority to help districts address ongoing teacher vacancy in many of our schools. Our members are proud that as a direct result of legislation Democrats passed last year, teachers across the state are seeing historic pay raises as high as 20 percent. We also heard from CCSD. They said in part, quote, if this is how our elected representatives make decisions, then public agencies like school districts whose finances must be transparent stand no chance of shaping sound student-centered policies. The suspicious timing and nature of CCEA's donations call for more transparency about how they operate and negotiate. Otherwise, Nevada taxpayers are the losers, Denise. All right, Kyle, we also did some checking, and some of those politicians did get similar donations last year, though not quite as sizable. But Canazaro and Yeager, the head of the state Senate and Assembly, respectively, were vocal about their support for new teacher contracts.